question number eight. It says if f of x equals 4 over e to the x plus 1, where x is less than 0, sine of 2x over x, where x is between 0 and pi, and then the cosine of x, where x is greater than pi, okay, it wants to know which of the following is true, a, b, or c. Okay? <coughs> so, a says the limit as x approaches infinity, or negative infinity, okay, of f of x equals 0. Okay? So, let's find the limit as x goes to negative infinity. Okay? So, since it goes to negative infinity, we want to choose this top position. Okay? So, we're going to find the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 4 over e to the x plus 1. Okay? So if we go ahead and directly plug in this, we're going to get 4 over e to the negative infinity plus 1. Okay? e to the negative infinity is 0. Okay? So it'll equal 4 over 1, which equals 4. Okay? So the limit as x goes to negative infinity is 4. Okay? So that means this statement is false. So A is false. Okay. Now B okay, says that f of x can be made continuous okay, at x equals 0 by defining f of 0 equals 2. Okay. So at x equals 0, f of 0 equals 2. Okay. So to figure this one out, we look at x equals 0, okay? So at x equals 0, we have to decide between this function and this function, okay? So in order for it to be made continuous, okay, the left-hand side has to equal the right-hand side, okay? So the limit from the left, okay, should equal the limit from the right, okay? So let's find out what these two limits are. Okay, so the limit from the left would be from this first part. So it's 4 over e to the x plus 1. And then the limit from the right is the second function. Okay? Alright, so evaluate these limits. Alright, so for the first one, let's plug in 0. Okay? So it's 4 over e to the 0 plus 1, e to the 0 is 1, so it'll turn into 4 over 1 plus 1, which is 2, which reduces to 2, okay? So, first part we're looking good. Now for the second part, okay? So we have the sine of 2x over x, okay? This is very similar to the sine of theta over theta. So, to use that limit, we have to make the bottom, the denominator, look like it does inside the sine function. Okay? So, the easiest way to do that is multiply both top and bottom by 2. Okay? So, if we do that, we're going to get the limit as x approaches 0 from the plus of 2 sine of 2x over... 2x. Okay. So anytime we have the sine of 2x or the sine of theta over theta, we know that that limit is going to equal 1. Okay? As the uh, if it's the limit as x approaches 0. Okay? So it's going to equal 2 times 1. Okay? Which equals 2. Okay? So we see that the left side limit equals the right hand side of it. Okay? So that means this function can be made continuous by defining f of 0 equal to 2. Okay? So b is true. Okay? Now, for c, okay, it wants to know if there's a jump discontinuity at pi. <laughs> okay? So there's a jump discontinuity 
pi to pi. Okay? So let's look at the limits for pi. Okay? So for pi, we have to go to this function and then this function. Okay? So the limit as x goes to pi from the left hand side okay, of the first part is going to be the sine of 2x over x. Okay? Then the um, the limit as x approaches pi from the right, we're going to use this second function. So, cosine of x. Okay? So, first thing with limits, let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay? So, we're going to get the sine of 2 pi over pi. Okay? So the sine of 2 pi is 0. 0 over pi is going to equal 0. <coughs> okay? So then with this one, plug in pi, and we're going to get the cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1. Okay? So we see that the left side limit equals 0, but the right side limit equals negative 1. So since they equal two different values, and none of them equal infinity, we're going to have a jump discontinuity. Okay? So that means C is true. Okay? So, uh, according to our answers, that would be E. Okay?